Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. I want to talk about the heart muscle that we call the myocardium. Myo means muscle, cardium is referring to heart. And what you can see is the heart muscle varies in width or throughout the heart. Specifically when we look at the ventricles. So the ventricles are the two bottom chambers of the heart. When they contract, or I should say, when the myocardium that surrounds these hollow chambers contract, so there's the left ventricle, there's the right ventricle, you can see I've performed a transverse section through this heart. When they contract, they push blood out of the heart. Now, the left ventricle pushes that blood out via the aorta, and the right ventricle pushes that blood out via the pulmonary arteries. Now, what you can see here is the left ventricle and the right ventricle myocardium, heart muscle, varies in thickness. Now the question is why do they vary in thickness? And the answer is because when that right ventricle contracts, it simply needs to push blood either side, that is to the lungs. So it doesn't require a lot of pressure, it doesn't require a lot of force. But when that left ventricle or myocardium of the left ventricle contracts, it needs to push blood out to the entire body. That's the top of the head to the tip of the toes. And that means it requires a lot of pressure and that's a lot of force. And in order to do that, we need a lot of muscle. And that muscle contracts, it squeezes like a tube of toothpaste. It actually begins at the bottom and squeezes upwards and then it squirts that blood out via the aorta to the entire body. This is important clinically because if somebody has a myocardial heart muscle infarction, death, that results in death of the myocardium. And it can happen anywhere throughout this myocardium, predominantly happens at the ventricles because they push blood out to the body. So we get the most, notable, most um, noticeable effects there. And think about it, if the death of the heart muscle happens on the left-hand side, it's predominantly gonna have the worst effects because it means that heart muscle can't contract to deliver blood to the whole body. Person dies very quickly. And the right-hand side, if it happens, well, it doesn't need to generate a huge amount of force to send that blood to the lungs. So the left-hand side seems to be the most deadly side when it comes to a myocardial infarction. And when this heart muscle dies, it can just be a little bit of the heart muscle or it can go the entire width of the heart muscle. That's called transmural. If it goes through the entire width of the heart muscle or just a part of it, you can notice these changes on an ECG, also known as an EKG an electrocardiogram. So this is a quick run through of heart muscle.